Hi, my name is Ahmed Rashan from the under 14 NPR side of the Nero Panthers. I'm here joined by Steph from the first grade side and we need to unearth a few questions. So, how's your day been, Steph? It's been good so far. How's it been? Oh, pretty good. Let's <laughs> jump into the questions. What position do you play? First so, I'm centre defender. defender. Always play centre defence. Yeah, favourite shirt number? Like, I do like Zidane 5 or Messi 10, you know? Yeah, fan number 4. I've always been a Ramos fan, so. Um, yeah, I've had four since I was young, but you, know, you get what you're given these days, so... Yeah, Ramos centre back makes sense. That's the, right. Centre half. And, uh, the amount of goals you scored against your professional NPL career? Not many at all. I would have scored maybe five or six in my NPL career. Um, Any important ones? Definitely. I, had, I remember I scored a goal against Kinjilla a couple um, of years ago where I was actually took a bit of a solo run and um, did a marathon twist and <laughs> finished it off pretty tightly so I always remember that one but yeah apart from that not many at all as a yeah. defender. Top corner? Or no, like never. Never will happen. <laughs> Probably in this yeah. lifetime. Where do you get your football inspiration? Like, like is it made from the Ramos or just big teams, big club, you're on the over there? Yeah, look I mean I've always been a fan of you know the big clubs in you know Europe, European football in particular. Um, Ramos definitely, you know I've always inspired how he plays and you know I've seen how he moves and how he interacts with his players, so yeah, definitely you could call Ramos the idol, I guess. Yeah. Mm. And getting Ramos in the La Liga in over in Spain, which one would you rather out of English Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, the A League here in Australia? Yeah, EPL definitely. I think yeah. it's the strongest league. Yeah. Strongest league, home to Manchester United, you know, I mean, City. You know. City, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Big, big club. Plenty of big clubs. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have any pets? Got a dog. Got a small dog that is a Labrador. Yeah. Labrador. Just the one? Just the one, yeah. Just one. yeah. Too much to manage other ones. Yeah. Any wife or kids or anything? No. Single? Single. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Favourite, favourite footy moment, like soccer moment? Um, probably when I was younger, when I first played my first Peewee's game, um, we, you know, I just remember that day, you know, it was cold and, um, you know, it was windy and, you know, we, we didn't know what we were doing and we had our dads and our coaches running around, so I always remember that day as, you know, a big step, I guess, moving forward. Yeah. 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 Favourite football team? Man City. Man City? Yeah. Because like, they won the Premier? Big fan. Uh, <laughs> the cash, in boot, uh, cash boost in 2008 would have been a big factor, but um, yeah, I always admired, even with Pep Royal at the moment, so I've always admired his um, High tactics. class manager. Too good. Very good. Too good. Yeah. Favourite football of all time, I'm guessing, Sergio Ramos? No. Um, oh. Zidane, I'll say. Zidane. Zizou. Zizou's always been, um, you know, very, he's, he's probably the smartest player and most sort of um, tactically aware player that I could probably yeah. point on. Wasn't an ideal striker, he was a central attacking midfielder as well. He was everything, I think. Yeah. He, he, just, he was just the whole midfield himself, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's too good. Yeah. Earliest footy memory. Again, that Peewee's, you know, very first soccer game when it was windy. Um, yeah, I always remember that. You know, just in the cold park in Gangalan, it was I was a Gangalan junior, so it was always um, yeah, always stay close to me. Okay. Any aspirations aspirations for twenty nineteen, any big plans for the Premier League? Yeah, look I think we can really go far this year. Um, we've rebuilt our squad from last year and I think we can push for top four. I think we've got enough depth and experience to back us, so yeah, fingers crossed we do well. Yeah. Behind aspirations of the twenty nineteen season, like pre season maybe? Pre-season, um, yeah, again, just trying to get as fit as we can to, you know, have a good crack at it. Um, we've had a couple of pre-season games now to see how other teams are reacting. So, yeah, I think we, we're going to have a pretty good chance this year. Did you win any of the games in the pre-season? We've won 13 out of 13. We, oh, yeah, nice. so we unfortunately lost our last game against um, Kuma just on the weekend, but that's okay. Oh, in the FFA Cup. FFA yeah. Cup, yep. So, regroup and move on. There's one player you'd love to play with side by side on the football pitch, you know, big stadium, we, who would it be? Ramos. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right here next to me in my same position, um, I'd love just to just see how he plays and how he's, you know, how, how he reacts to different situations. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's been your biggest influence thus far your football career, you could say? Like, what? Biggest influence? Um, Range of things. I mean, you know, obviously looking at you know professional games, I've you know been able to identify who I like on the pitch. But I think my dad has always been a big influencer. He's you know given me the confidence I needed to progress in my I guess my soccer career in, at local level. So yeah, I owe it to my dad a lot. 
out of rock, blues, heavy metal, even pop or jazz or classical or even R&B. Mm. Which would be your favorite genre? R&B, really? definitely. Big R&B boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, always Back been. In the day. Yeah. yeah. Always been old school R&B. Can you play any musical instruments? I wish. I wish. No. Any that you play at home, like just try and you know, have a crack I'm at it? I'm a drum here and there, but no, not professional by any means. <laughs> no, I wish. Mm. Ever known to sing in the shower, yodel, dance, like no one is watching? Oh yeah, look, I always you know, sing in the shower, you know, have a bit of a laugh to myself and you know, get caught out from time to time from yeah. my friends and whatnot, so yeah, always have fun. Name something that like, one of us don't know, or the coach Jimmy, that you can share with us and own classmates. Oh, that's a bit of a tricky question. Um, something you don't know. Uh, so I'm of Macedonian descent. Um, Macedonian. Yeah, so I've you know gone back a couple of times and you know really embraced my culture and my where I'm from. So yeah, that's something I'm really open about sharing with everyone when they get to know me, of course. So your full name Stefan. Stefan, that's yeah. right. Yeah. There's lots of Macedonians have that. Definitely. Like, not a fan of the full name and you know, so I'll take a step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ancestors and stuff. Mm. Yeah. What do your like teammates call you? Steph. Um used to be called Toto back in the day, so short for Any, to Todoroski. Yeah. Todoroski. Yeah. Todoroski. Todoroski. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well yeah. Relaxation relaxation, sorry. Or adventure. Uh relaxation I'd say. Yeah, I used to be an adventure when I was a bit younger, but now slow down. Would have munched the cocktail on the beach, just relax. Yeah. What's been the best advice that you've ever had from your coach? Um, never give up. Remain humble um, in your playing ability. Don't be cocky. Don't be a cocky player. Um, you know, play to your ability.